Inclusive education, it's something that people would define differently depending on the context. But in Chance for Childhood, the way we define inclusive education is inclusion means access. Children with special educational needs, children with disabilities should have access. So they need to be identified and referred to where they can get these services. Chance for Childhood has been supporting children in extremely vulnerable situations for almost 30 years and during that time we've seen a wide variety of traumas that inevitably affects a child's physical and mental well-being and indeed the way that they can learn and process information. So unless the development community are designing inclusive education programmes right from the off, we will continue to leave children behind. Some of the parents and the community people are just saying that uh, the fact that the schools do not meet the child's needs, that makes them not to send their children to school. There are so many teachers who have been there for ages, who have the same social norms, who have the same prejudices and the stereotypes that a child with disabilities will never amount to something important in life. So they have all that kind of attitudes that are acting as barrier to rating in each and every child with different abilities. Whatever intervention we are to bring in the communities, we need to couple it with an activity that works on a reduction of stigma and improving the understanding and attitude of the community. There are no studies conducted in this area. childhood works around the social definition of disability and that's really important because it allows us to take a community-based approach and I think this has been the most critical reason why we've seen so much success in ensuring inclusion across communities in Africa. Firstly involving lots of different members of the community in the identification and understanding of a child's particular impairment or disability ensures that there is buy-in, it ensures that there is a, um, a community spirit around the desire to want to ensure that that child has, a, has access to the education that they deserve. If you have adapted your teaching learning materials in such a way that they include each and everyone, even those that do not have disabilities will benefit. In Rwanda we have been using um, learning support assistance scheme and training the teachers about uh, uh, inclusive methodologies and, and uh, how they can just uh, establish the individual education plan and individual support plan for the very individual child with disabilities or special educational needs. Our disability detection toolkit or screening tools are designed particularly for non-medical staff so we really want parents and caregivers and teachers and community members to be able to use those tools and really empower them to identify and indeed then respond to an individual child's need and really use that opportunity to create a community spirit and a momentum to allow that child to realise their right to an inclusive education and the protection and safety that they deserve within the community. Whilst based on international standards and in fact the Washington questions, it's also designed to take consideration for the context and of course, across the whole globe, the interpretation, definition, um, cultural feeling towards um, disability is so critical to take account of because of course, if we're really truly hoping to promote understanding, that needs to be understanding within the context, taking account of the current baseline. For, for children with disabilities, you know, they were grown up in the families, in the families that were just telling them that, hmm, 
you have something abnormal. You can't do anything. You never made it up to something important in life. But when they come to school, and then they see or they find a teacher who's inclusive, who has just tried and removed all the barriers, this child will see and will just grow confident. And will come to a point where he will realize that, oh, I can do this. I can play with peers. I can have friends. And all this plays a big, a very great role in the development of a child. And another thing is that it reduces the dropout rates. It also reduces the retention rates. And it helps the community to go inclusive. Over the last decade, we've worked as a technical partner in disability inclusion to 10 community-based organisations and together we've supported 100,000 children to access quality, inclusive education. We've also forged strategic partnerships with governments and education stakeholders to roll out national training plans in disability identification and inclusive education. to support about 3,007 children with disabilities um, across 150 um, schools um, in the northern Rwanda. Another project is Dance of the Street. It was a project that was meant to support street-connected children in Kenya. About 106 students were supported to develop cognitive uh, abilities in the seven areas such as determination, greed, uh, self-esteem, memorization. Mm -hmm.